It's one of the most common questions I get. When do I drive to the basket? How do I spot that opportunity and then take advantage quickly? Now first I want to say that the vast majority of top tier hoopers, they do this subconsciously. As they play, it just comes naturally from years of experience. But if you have trouble with your decision making, you can definitely start applying these tips in game and it'll become more and more subconscious for you. So there are two parts to this. Surveying that help defense to read for opportunities and then reading your immediate defender. I'll go over that second line of defense first and give y'all a few signs for when to attack that defense. Okay, so first, this is much more common in the league because of the defensive three second call, but if you see the paint empty, help defender outside of the paint, it's a sign that they're out of position and may be out of control sliding over once you get to the rim. But that's sort of a gray area. Sometimes they'll be ready, sometimes they won't. So at this point, it's about their momentum and their position. If they're turned away from you, even slightly, or they're moving away from you like all four are here because they're distracted by the weak side action, it'll be a good opportunity. Like right here, Josh sees these defenders scrambled and moving away from him in the bucket. So he takes the chance. And it's also all the way down to the body language of the help. If they're standing straight up like you see here, it's gonna be hard for them to drop into an athletic position and get over in time for a great contest. Plus, especially in college where help defense is taught so well, it could be a sign that they're tired or out of it. Take advantage of them. Also, their eyes. You see here how Kyrie begins his drive, and he notices that Kuzma is looking up towards the weak side action. So now Kyrie just knows that's easy money. And even if these defenders do get over late, it's much more difficult for them to contest because they're out of control and haven't timed it correctly. Next, if you're driving and see that your teammate has a defender sealed, it could be a good chance to go. If y'all are on the same page and your teammate is experienced, they'll seal off the defender, which can lead to a wide open layup. Also, it sounds crazy, but sometimes when the paint seems loaded because there are two defenders, it could be an opportunity for you. If you're in a downhill drive and read that two defenders split the bucket like right here, there's a good chance that both will fall into the trap of the bystander effect. They'll just let you go because they expect the other one to jump with you. If you're aggressive and confident in this situation, most of the time it will work out this way. In a semi-transition situation, or basically when the defense is back but not fully set, there will many times be an opportunity. If you see the entire defense, and especially the rim protectors backpedaling, it's a green light most of the time. Especially when they're lacking intensity with it. And if their momentum and position is aimed towards you, it gives you the opportunity to turn them and beat them to the opposite direction. And then lastly, if you're in a real game and not just a pickup game, if the help defender is in foul trouble and you have an opportunity, take it. So now you're seeing that you have an opportunity in that second layer of defense. But is it the best move right here to attack your immediate defender? One giveaway sign here is footwork. Many times the defender will give you a top foot where one foot is in front of the other like you see here. In this case, the majority of the time, the best option is to drive towards that top foot, so they have to rotate their entire body to keep up. But sometimes, if they're overly forcing you to one side, it may be best to take that advantage they're giving you, if you see an opportunity deeper in the defense. Next is momentum, which I won't go all the way into because there's so much to talk about. But it's also another dead giveaway. The goal here is to attack defenders when their momentum is moving in a certain direction. Whether you get them moving that way with a dribble, or you just notice it within the flow of a game, you have to take advantage of these times. Whether they're moving forward, laterally, or even backwards, attack these situations and get an advantage on them, even if you can't get all the way downhill. And other than that, it's all about mindset. If you have it set in your mind that you're in control of the defender, and not that you'll react to what they're doing, it'll open up so much for you. But of course, once you get downhill, you still have to make something happen. And we'll have a video coming about that very, very, very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and check back weekly for new videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and share with everyone. Let's get this movement going.